exists to put the death penalty out of business. It exists because Texas is the execution capital of this country. It exists because it's only poor people that are executed out here in Huntsville. Only poor people. And the majority of people of color. We're out here in Huntsville, and Huntsville has a vicious reputation. How many of these executions or murders have you attended? I've lost count, somewhere between 100 and 200 that have witnessed one execution. When you first began this circumstance, do you remember what it was that in fact uh, prompted you to actually begin this campaign? Yeah, it was in 1982, and that's when Texas executed the first person after the uh, pause in the 70s. It was uh, Charlie Brooks, who was an African American man. And Two weeks after he was executed, we got a letter from the Fifth Circuit saying he had a hearing coming up, but he was already dead. We stood out here, this was back when executions were at midnight, and we stood out here and there was a bunch of students from the university here with kegs of beer having a party, uh, drunk and celebrating that night. And I guess that just made me so angry that I've never stopped. Uh, been involved in two cases where we actually freed innocent people from death row, Clarence Branley and Ricardo da Vigera. I witnessed a friend of mine being executed, Carlos Santana, on March 23, 1993. Uh, he was with somebody who killed somebody. Uh, but they, Texas executed both of them. Tell me about Francis. Francis was a very gentle, sweet woman who adored her children. Her mother was telling me just a couple of weeks ago, you know, I found my grandson's report cards from first grade. He never missed a day of school, never. She said, my daughter was, out of all my girls, my daughter was the best mother that uh, we had in the family. How, how do the people start this? We have to organize, we have to get stronger. Uh, the movement against the death penalty kind of ebbs and flows. It was very strong around Shaka Sankofa's case. It's kind of ebbed since then, but I, I'm hoping that this outrageous execution of a woman, a woman, a black woman, an innocent woman, will keep me, the people active and, and motivated. And, you know, we've got 10 more executions this year in Texas, so it's not over. If this was the only one, I think I could go home and sleep easy, but it's not. There's 10 more. And I know that two out of those 10, Jaime Elizalde and uh, Tony Ford, are both innocent. So, thank you.